welcome to CJC Goss Media, it's your boy Caleb, and actually today, I'm going to be switching things up a little bit. Alrighty, so right before we jump into today's video, I really want to just stop and pause and really just be thankful for all who have subscribed to my channel so far. 41 subscribers, that's great. I used to have none. So within like a couple months, I now have 41 subscribers. So that means somebody's watching them. So thank you so much. And actually, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. Button's right down there. I'll give you a couple seconds. Awesome, don't forget to hit that bell notification because you're gonna wanna not miss out on the videos that are coming up. Alrighty, so recently I posted a photo on my Instagram that got over 100 likes. Now, that's big for me. Usually my average is around 52 to 68 likes on my photos, but that one went up past 100 likes. And so I thought it'd be cool if I explained how I did it. And so, but if you haven't seen it yet, um, I'll go ahead and link my, uh, account below, but if you want, it is Caleb Carter 223 um, That's my personal page, that's where I posted it, and it's a double exposure image. And so what I did was I took a picture of myself in my garage, and then I overlaid a photo that I took up in the mountains, put them together, and created one photo with that. And apparently a lot, a lot of people loved it, and I got a lot of feedback. So today, I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, you need to have Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, don't worry about it, it's okay. Um, you can just follow along and um, enjoy um, what you what, what you see. Okay, so um, that message that you just had before, anytime you input an image into Photoshop, you must convert it to a smart object. Um, I'm not gonna show you how to do it because anytime you're gonna try to do something to the image, it will tell you that you need to convert it, hit okay, and boom, you're ready to go. All right, so let's hop into here real quick. So first you wanna go over the uh, quick selection tool. I'm gonna go pretty fast here because my battery is going to die soon. Uh, go ahead and select a mask, um, select subject right here. That's going to select the subject. Now that's great and everything, and you can deal with that if you like it, but the edges are kind of rough for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, edit my uh, image here just so that the edges won't be so, so rough here. Uh, okay, that looks good to me. Go ahead and hit okay, boom. Now it is, it is now separated uh, from the background, and you have two here. You actually go back here and um, go ahead and delete your layer here, just so that you don't get confused. Um, and what you're gonna do next is gonna go ahead and um, create a solid color. So go to solid color, uh, change it to white here. Boom, bada bing, and bring this down here. Awesome, so now you have some eye of a canvas to work with. So now they have a solid color, you can actually go and bring in the photo that you want to use as a, um, as an image here. Uh, this is the image that I took up in Big Bear with my drone here. So this is what I'm gonna use here. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, bring this in and drag this in right here. Go ahead and adjust this accordingly to how, uh, to your preference here. All right, so go ahead and hit enter or return. All right, so now that you've put um, your image in, you like the way it looks, um, this kind of sucks, but we're gonna change this up. Next step is to go back and to actually change the color of the background to the brightest color of this image, that the image that you're wanting to uh, put in there. So go ahead and double tap there, take the eyedropper here, and we're gonna wanna go to the brightest part, the brightest color of this image, which is looks like it's that. So I go ahead and hit okay, perfect. Come up to here to the background color, change the blend mode to screen. And so what that is going to allow is that it is going to um, kind of add this subtle effect here. Um, it's gonna screen it, it's gonna be blended in just perfectly. Um, now, how do we get rid of this junk? Um, if you are a Mac user, go ahead and hit option. If you're a Windows user, go ahead and hit alt option and go ahead and bring your cursor over here above this um, layer here and go ahead and click down. What that is going to do is it's only going to apply this screen to this layer right here. Instead of applying it to the entire um, image itself, it's going to only to apply it to this layer here. So cool, once we've done that, everything looks pretty cool, but what we're gonna do is go ahead and select our subject layer here and go ahead and add a curves, 
adjustment layer here. And what this is going to do is we're going to bring out the detail in our subject here just so that it doesn't get lost. So what you're going to do is bring the, uh, it's going to be over here, but bring your leftmost slider in just a tad. Just, this is pretty much personal preference, but what I would usually do is bring this in a little bit just so that it's blending in a little bit more, bringing that shadows in, not letting it crush. If you do it too much, see, as you can see there, the image is crushed. So we're gonna just bring it in just ever so slightly, just before that breaking point. There is your image perfectly done. All you gotta do is come up here to file, export. Um, what you're gonna do is always export for web just so that you get the largest, um, the largest size possible for your image, JPEG, make sure it's on maximum 100% quality, um, and then go ahead and hit save, and then you can save it wherever you want in your computer there. With that, you now have a double exposure. Guys, I really hope this was an awesome video. I hope it helped you out. Um, this was a super simple and easy, fast way to get and achieve this double exposure look. Now you can really sit there and hone in on the settings and fine tune the image, but um, that comes with time. And when you get to know your Photoshop better, you will um, improve. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. So with that guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please continue to support the channel by hitting the thumbs up. Um, leaving comments below is awesome because I love interacting with you guys and also um, asking people and sharing your friends and asking them to uh, subscribe to the channel. So with that guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and have a great one. Thank you guys.